Hey guys, I'm gonna be making a Dada guide. It'll probably take two or three parts to complete. Uh, I'll talk about the skill trees and the tripods that you want. I'll talk about the engravings that you want to go for. And I'll talk about the gems and the card set that you want. Uh, but for this video, I'll be talking about the general playstyle, how the character work, and how it compares to other classes such as the gunslinger. Right? Um, I've played a fair bit, I'm at 1410, so I've experienced all the content so far in NA. Um, uh, and I can say this is a very fun class. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So Deadeye is a uh, melee class, basically. Um, and most of your skills are ranged, but You'll see in a second here when I talk about some of the DPS skills that they're actually uh, melee. That you need to use a melee or else you don't really do damage here. Um, so first I'll talk about the handgun skills. They're all orange. Uh, it's over here you have a lot. You can choose eight. Um, so the eight that are most optimal are these eight. Um, I'll talk about why, right? So most of your handgun skills are utility. Uh, you have a debuff, you have a team buff, right? Party buff. <laughs> it's a debuff on the boss over here. It's on your grenade. It um, decreases the crit resistance of the boss. So as you can see here, on hit, full crit resistance to attack by all party member minus 10% for 8 seconds. Uh, so this basically means people do 10% more crit on him. Everybody. Everyone in your party and in the raid. Because it's a debuff on the boss, right? I mean, it's, uh, maybe not in the raid. I'm not sure, but definitely in the party. So, yeah. Um, and because the debuff lasts 8 seconds, which is longer than the cooldown of this grenade skill, um... And you also have other skills like Spiral Tracker, which provides the same debuff, and Equilibrium, right? They all provide weakness exposure. Um, so this buff, you need to keep it constantly up, right? You need to manage the time of it, and you have to always keep it up. Yeah, so that's uh, party debuff, uh, party debuff skills that you have. Um, so the other, so and then you have the uh, what is this called? Dexterous shot, somersault shot, and enforce execution. These three are mobility skills. So this is a dexterous shot. It's a two segment dash. This you can change positions in the middle. All right? So it's it's a, one of the best ones for this class. You can like you know go behind them, position. It's really good for positioning because. You can basically spin around the boss. Um, yeah, um, you can't use any skills in between the two segments, so you just have to finish it. Like if I use skills here, <clears throat> it, it goes on cooldown. So what you have to do is just use it. Use the two segments. Uh, this is usually used for dodging and positioning, right? Primarily positioning, because it's such a good positional skill. Uh, this one, somersault shot, like that, not too fast. I mean, it's decent, right? It's not really used for dodging, because, as you can see, it's, it has a little bit of lag at the beginning. Uh, this is more for positional, like you're here, you want to go behind the boss, like that. Um. Okay, nothing really special about this one. Uh, this is Enforce Executional, one of your best dashes. Uh, it's also a counter. It doesn't say in the bottom here, but if you read it, it says uh, dash 5 meters forward, do an upper kit, a kick, and perform a frontal attack and counter attack. So if you hit the, you see the second part is a kick. So the kick is the uh, counter. Um. This is really fast skill. Uh, it goes off really fast, really fast dash, really clean. Um, one of your best positional and dodging skills. You usually want to dodge with this. Mm, yeah, and 
The equilibrium is also semi DPS skill. Can I show you the damage here? That's a little bit. Not too much, right? I mean, like barely any, but you know, it provides weakening exposure. And when I do crit, it, that's a decent amount, right? I mean, that's because of Bleed Room, but, you know, it's just a filler skill, kind of. Um, and here you have your Quick Shot, one of your main DPS skills. So, it's a two-segment skill again. You shoot the first one, and then you shoot the second. Um, if you notice that, if you shoot the first one on a boss, it says second hit will do an extra 130% damage. It's here on the tripod here, too. On hit, damage plus 30% to consecutive hits in 3 seconds. So, it's really important that you hit the first shot. And then, the second shot would do a lot more damage here. Um, and if you see, if I crit, if I don't crit, I do around 500 south in damage, 564. But if I do crit here, I do 2 million. Um, so, normally crit means double the damage, but then... For Deadeye and Gun form, crit means quadruple the damage, basically. It multiplied by 4 or something, something around that. I mean, this is dependent on your specialization. The more you have this, the higher the crit damage increase for your handgun skills. So that's why this is it's really important for this ability to crit. And that's why you need to have both the debuff and your class engraving on it. So it crits more often. Um, Crow Tracker, very simple DPS skill. You just use it. Um, keep in mind that these two are also back attacks, so you should use it when you're behind the boss. Alright. Um, so for the shotgun skills, right, this is your main DPS skills. Um, all of them are fairly simple, easy to understand. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, their back attacks, right? So you have to use them, use it behind them, and you take the tripod close shot. So it says here, outgoing damage to nearby foes plus thirty-seven percent. Um, I can show you here. That, so what what it means is you have to be right beside the boss. Um, the damage difference is fairly big. So like right here. I did 286,000 on my second shot, but if I'm right behind them, 776 without crit. And if I do crit, 1.6 million, right? But if I'm out here, and I crit, is around 500 or something. Yeah, a lot of a, lot, a very big difference in the damage, and this applies to Sign of Apocalypse. Shotgun Dominator and Shotgun Rapid Fire. They all have the close shot tripod. So you have to be right behind them to do damage, right? Um, you can also take full range. I mean, some people take this. I don't recommend it because, I mean, obviously this is more consistent, right? Um, your attacks are all considered melee damage and just simply increases your damage by 10%. I mean, that's not really comparable to the, uh, so if, so this one, right? So level 2 tripod that I have right now is 31%, but if full range was level 2, it's 16%. So you lose out, what, 15% uh, of the damage if you take full range instead of close shot. But that also means you can stand out more. You can stand farther away, you know? But if you really want to take this tripod, um, I suggest that you just play Gunslinger, because she has better tripods for more consistent damage and uh, you don't have to position that much, right? Uh, but if you're not a pussy, you take Close Shot. And uh, yeah, so for the last request, um, this one, also one of your DPS skills, you don't really, there's no Close Shot tripod, you just take the cooldown and the one thing that pe people um, kind of um, get confused over, or like they have a hard choice making, is 
these two tripods. So right now my scale looks like this, right? That's because I'm taking massive explosion. Um, it simply increases the damage by 20% at level one. Uh, some people like execution. You can see here I'm at level two. So I was using it before too, because it feels good, right? It changes your thing into a dash. Like I didn't use any dashes. I'm just using the skill, right? So it's a really nice, really, really nice positional skill. But, um, so for example, right, you can use it in a lot of situations, like, oh, you're in front of the boss, you're going behind them, but you ran too far, you can do that, and you're up close again. And then you can DPS. Um, but, so, uh, but because you have so many dashes, right, like over here, these, if you're confident enough, you don't really need the extra dash on your last request. And if you so if you don't take the dash, you get 20% extra damage. I think this is completely up for preference. Um, I think if you're just starting out to play this class, you should take execution if you can, right? Uh, because it helps you position well. And it also increases attack speed, so it makes it go off faster. Like this one takes a while, but if you have this, it's fairly fast. Right, it makes it faster too. So um, you can, I think you guys should try it out. And just keep in mind, this one does more damage if you take massive explosion. And this one's easier to hit, and it helps you position. Right. Um. So that's all for the uh, the shotgun skills. Uh, lastly, the sniper skill. A uh, gunslinger uses sniper a lot, but the guy barely uses it at all. It's a cooldown filler, so you use it when every shotgun skill is off cooldown. Every crow tracker, I mean not crow, every handgun skill is off cooldown. I mean on cooldown, uh, you know what I mean, right? So if if you're using all of them, I can show you here, uh, like this is, I use them. And then there's no skills left, right? I can go, there's no skills left. Then I go to Sniper and use a few. Um, so when you're using the Sniper, you want to use Catastrophe and then Perfect Shot. This one does a little bit of damage, but it gives Stagger, right? So that's something. And also pushes you back. So like, like this. Oh, oops, that's the wrong one. Like that. Pushes you back so you're kind of safer. And then you can use your sniper skill. Perfect shot. This one does the most damage out of the four. Uh, so the other two, you can literally throw them away if you really want to. Because you basically never use them. Um, Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all for the skill set. And like if I'm fighting a boss, if this is a boss, this is what it generally feels like. You throw your grenade on him, dash behind him, use your shotgun skills, like that. Uh, when the buff runs out, right? You switch back, put the buff on, continue DPS, like that. When the buff runs out, throw it again, use your sniper skill to fill the gap, right? Put the buff on again, and then shotgun again. Um, there's no, not really a combo. Um, so if I have cooldowns on, like, it just feels like this. You're using your shotgun skills, right? And then, when you feel like the debuff is running out, you throw it on. Okay, all of my shotgun skills are on cooldown, switch to handgun, use some DPS skills. Uh, put the debuff on, use the sniper, switch back, use some handgun skills, your shotgun should be up by now, yeah, switch to shotgun, boom, do that, and then use handgun, because it's up, right, use this one, and then your shotgun skills should be up again, use them, and then switch back, put the debuff on, go to sniper, Use a few skills, then come back, 
do the shotgun again. So, uh, you see the cooldowns are all offset. There's no really set, not really a set combo. Um, which is one of the reasons why I think this class is more fun than other classes because you're not just r doing repetitive shit, right? So if I'm playing Deathblade, I'm just doing the same combo over and over and over again. Um, it's the same for Shadow Hunter, even more simple class, right? Um, <clears throat> you're just you're just doing your combos over and over again. There's no decision making. You don't really have to remember anything, but for this one, you have to keep in mind your shotgun cooldowns, your debuff, you want to constantly on the boss, right? And you have to position. Uh, it's really challenging, uh, the payoff is decent, right? I often get MVPs in raids. Uh, it, it's just, if you like a challenge, I think. That I, I mean, if you like, like, what's it called? High risk, high reward playstyle. I think Dead Eye is a really good class for you, you know? Um, it's really different from Gunslinger. Um, Gunslinger is also really fun. I think this is gonna be my main alt. Uh, but their playstyle is really different. Yeah. Um, I think that's all for this video. Oh, oh no, no. I have to talk about the stats, right? The main stats you want is specialization. Uh, this is fairly simple to understand. As you can see, is a handgun skill crit damage plus a certain percentage shotgun skill damage. That's really good, right? You just get more damage on your shotgun, which is your main DPS skill. And then rifle gets uh, armor pen. Um, I mean, the armor pen very irrelevant because you don't really use it. You, always, you also get Awakening skill damage, which is your ult, here. I didn't really talk about the ult yet. Alt, yeah. Um, so you have two alts. Over here, one looks cooler, this one. Yeah, this one looks cool, but it takes too long to get off, so usually you want to take this one, Clay Bombardment. It's faster and it's easier to hit because of the circle. Um, yeah, so one thing to keep in mind is that the debuff still applies, right? So you want the debuff up, and you want to switch your weapon, and have your enhanced weapon class engraving. So, what enhanced weapon does is, whenever you switch weapons, you get a certain amount of crit for 8 seconds, right? So if I switch, I get this buff on me, 25% crit. So before you use your all, you want to do that, so you grenade on him, switch weapon, and then use your alt. So it crits, right? It critted for 7.4 million there. Yeah, that's just a little detail, or like a trick that you can't do. Yeah. Um, and for the secondary stat, you want your crit. Uh, this is because, uh, primarily I think, it's because your handgun skill gives you crit damage. So if you don't crit, you're kind of losing all out on a lot, right? And in the future, you want King Blunt weapon, so you want around 60-70% crit. Um, right now, with the Argo set that I have, you can get safely around like 75% crit if you run, like, if you run the crit combat stat. So what you do is, for all of your accessories, you want specialization. And on your necklace, you want specialization and crit. That's what you want to do. Um, some people go specialization, swiftness. Uh, swiftness gives you attack speed, move speed, and cooldown. So what happens is, it makes your character smoother. Feel smoother. I can try to show you here. If I do specialization, swiftness. Uh, like... See my movement, my attack speed is a lot faster. Right? The animation goes faster too. But then you lose it out on damage, right? So I don't think it's that optimal. Um, it's, you can fairly comfortably play this without any swiftness. Yeah, that's why you want crit as your secondary stat. Um, yeah, that's all for this video. In the future, I'm going to be making a more detailed guide on the 
skill tree. Um, the engraving you want for Argos, and possibly what you should prepare for for Vault 10, right? I also talk about the gems, which skills you wanted on, and the car set. Uh, but the car set is really generic, you just want the last one set if you have it. Okay, thanks for watching.